All right, what's up everybody? Uh, I just got back from the hardware store. So I picked up some aluminum angle iron or angle bar. It's uh, it's only uh, inch and a half by inch and a half and it's like a 16th inch, so it's nice and light. And I'm gonna try and now attach this to that panel with the sheet metal screws. Um, so let's head over there right now. All right, so for this repair, obviously I got my angle iron or angle bar. I got some sheet metal screws got my uh, impact drill and my bit set so I'm gonna s it's not gonna be perfect this is basically gonna be a temporary repair that's gonna probably last forever <laughs> um, so as I said before I'm probably gonna eventually pull this cowl off chop out the whole that whole rusty part and then actually rebuild it with some galvanized steel so it won't rust all right so let me go i'm gonna go underneath the rv i'm gonna basically go in here i'll give you a look at how i'm gonna try and attach it on the inside and then we'll get this uh party started all right it's kind of hard to see it's pretty dark under here but this is the gap that i'm gonna try and close so yeah and it's actually pretty cool when you get under here seeing how everything is made and how they do everything. Sorry about my pinky. All right, let's see if we can get this going. I won't be able to screw it in that way. I might be able to do it like this. All right, I gotta actually make this a little shorter. I cut the bracket to the size of the full length, but I just realized it's not enough space in here, so. Um, yeah, I'm gonna recut this. Be right back. All right, so I shortened the bar, and then I made these tabs. Um, and I'll, uh, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'll show you what I'm when it's kind of done. What the thought process was. All right, so this is what I did. I I put this tab here to kind of bring the distance in. I'm gonna have my angle iron or the angle piece aluminum like that and then I'll be able to then bring in a sheet metal from the back and secure it and it actually kind of maintains the gap nice so this is the leading edge that you're looking at so shouldn't have any problems with this flapping out from the wind um, I'm pretty sure there was also a piece back here on the trailing edge of this cowl I'm not gonna worry about that right now until I kind of maybe replace this all right, I'm just going to continue and then I'll show you the uh, finished product when it's done. All right, so it's all set. It's actually locked in pretty good. So the the angle bar is actually attached to those two tabs. I have a tab here, a tab here. And then on the back side of this rusted out panel, I just put a screw into the angle here and a screw here, and it's nice and locked in. So I won't have to worry about this flapping in the wind. I will have this kind of flapping, but I'm okay with that until I can replace, I'm sorry it's so dark, but I have to replace this whole little contraption. And then um, I'm pretty sure this bar was also back here and that flew out with the angle bracket that was holding everything together. So yeah, all right, so this is done. So I did get a win today. I fixed that uh, cowl over the rear wheel. So that'll be good for Friday. Um, and then just a little couple of odds and ends things, but that's where we're at now with the RV and uh, Yeah So thanks for watching this video if you liked it, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications of when we make a new video I'm still working on editing our last RV trip and a recap of our trip to the KOA Newburgh and the apple picking farm um, so hopefully this weekend I'll have more time to edit it while we're um, at our next 
camp spot. Uh, yeah. Oh, also, don't forget, please check out our Teespring store. We have some cool shirts up there, and those shirts help support our channel and all our RV and Jeep adventures. So if you like the shirt, make a purchase. We get a few bucks. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday, and I'll see you on the next video.